Okay, so we're going to look at the third line of Andantino now. So that's where the music changes. If you remember from the recording, it's where it goes long and lovely legato sound. Da, 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 da. A bit like um, Go Tell Aunt Rody or Lightly Row or something like that. So um, there are some words that might help you remember this bit. It goes, I don't mind you buzzing around. You keep all the flowers growing. And then we go back to our walking around with the bee buzzing around, okay? So let's have a look at that. Let's get our violins ready on our shoulders, putting our hands down, giving it a shake, getting our hands back up there, okay? Making sure you've zipped and stepped your feet, okay? And you've got no funny cross legs. You can't see my legs there, but I was doing funny cross legs, okay? So just keep them nice and apart, just underneath your shoulders. Good. And with me, we're just going to go E, E, A, A. Ready on the E string. Ready on the E string. That's good. Well, well done. Okay, so just getting us into that nice legato sound, okay? Now we're going to add the fingers to that. So we've got one, one, three, A. And I'm really checking out for those independent fingers there, independent three on the A string, okay? One, one, three, A, and we're skipping the E. One, one, E, ready, go. And again, ready, go. That's it, well done. And then the next bit, ya da da da, up the stairs, A, one on A, ready, go. Very good. And now we go to the E string and we go down the stairs. E, three, two, one, A, three, two, one. Bit like our scale going downwards. Okay, let's get ready on E, E, ready, go. That's it. Did you notice how I got slower as I was getting down the stairs? It's like I was getting tired. If you've got your music in front of you, have a look now. Can you see that there's a word written under A? What's that word? It says writ, yeah? And you'll remember, hopefully, that that means that we're getting slower. We're getting slower there. Do you remember our allegro? It's the same as that, okay? So we're getting slower there. Let's play the middle section all together now. Have a listen or play along. One on the E string. One, two, ready, go. I did a B sting there. That's because in your music you will see that there is a pause above, okay, here where we stop. Again, Allegro has one of those as well, do you remember? So that's where we're going to stop in the music. You'll hear it if you listen to the recording and in your head you can say B sting to help you remember how long that is. Brilliant, so enjoy practicing with that. I'm going to record a slow version of it for you to play along. That will be the whole piece. So remember, you can just practice a little bit of it by pausing, okay? You don't have to always do the whole thing. So enjoy practicing and Antino, and I can't wait to hear how you're getting on with that. Bye.